Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. Um, today we'll do something a bit different. We're not going to talk about NAS in this one. Um, so this one we're talking about our QM2 cards. Um, what I've got here is one of our uh, HP micro servers. Um, this is just a very small server. Um, I've got installed in it the QM2 4P384 card. Um, the reason I put it in here is to talk about the Chia cryptocurrency. So unlike things like Bitcoin that use uh, GPUs most efficiently to, to mine the coin for that, uh, Chia uses storage medium to do it instead. So you need something really fast like an NVMe storage, uh, storage drive uh, to do the plotting um, to create the plots. So once you've got the plots created, you can move them to slower storage. So the actual farming for the currency is quite a low power usage um, activity that happens. It's just creating the plots that need something really fast like the NVMe drives. Um, so with this HP uh, micro server, it's only got four uh, two and a half, uh, three and a half inch bays on the front of it, uh, but it does have a PCIe slot in the back. So what I've got installed in there, if I go across the device inventory, is we can see the four slots offered by PCIe slot one. Um, these are referenced also when you go into the Windows that's installed on it. So I've just team viewed into it here. Um, so within this one, um, in the device manager, we can also see the same um, NVMe uh, express controllers that have been passed through. And what I've done is I've created two bits of storage. So in the main drive base on the front of the server, um, I've put four 12 terabyte drives and I just created a large RAID 0 stripe there. Um, you probably want to do something with redundant storage, but for the purpose of the demo, I've just done some stripes. Um, and I've also got the three SSDs left over. I've used one of the SSDs as the installation uh, for the Windows install. Um, but the three that are left over, I've done them in a Stripe as well and created a rather large, nearly 1.5 terabyte storage lump there. So I've got the uh, four uh, 480 gig NVMe drives um, on the QM2 4P384. Now how we're going to use that with Cheer, if you did want to get involved with it, is you have to first sign in and when you go sign in you have to create a new private key so here's the one that I've got um, I'm not using this for anything so it doesn't matter that this is out there but you would create a new private key and it will give you um, the uh, the monomic words that you have to uh, write down if you want to uh, keep a hold of your wallet but once you sign in to your key um, it will have to sync first so that'll take quite a while so this is still syncing but for the purpose of the demo it's fine uh, you get a wallet, so any uh, Chia that you have mined, so the XCH, um, they will appear here. Um, and down here you've got your farm. So the farm looks pretty basic when you aren't synced and you don't have any plots. Uh, but if you wanted to create a plot, you can click Add a Plot. So a plot, you can choose the different size. I generally use the, uh, the K32, the default one. Um, you can choose how many plots you want to do. So here you can change this to a large number, let's say 10. As we scroll down the list, um, it wants the temporary directory and take note here that it says we recommend you use a fast SSD for this So if we click browse on this one and we'll go down and we're going to pick the drive I've formatted uh, with the QM2 4P384 as my F drive So I'm just going to select that one and click select folder So that's where that's going to be and select the final directory and here it says you should use a large slow drive so if you successfully uh, create uh, 10 of these plots that's going to take up a whole terabyte so while the temporary space needed on the SSD is 239 gigabytes to create the plot the final result of that is a file that's 101 gig in size so what I'm creating here is basically an instruction to go create a terabytes worth of plots so if we come down here to the browse section this time we're going to put it on the D drive which is the much larger storage drive on the four hard drives and we'll click select folder and then you can just go click create plot. So now that's created that, it's gonna go off and it's going to do the plotting. So we see we're at 1% now. So it's gonna go off and create um, those plots. It's gonna take a, a number of hours to create each plot, uh, but once the plots have been created, they'll come over into the farm and your farm will show that you've got a certain number of plots and that you're doing the latest block challenges. Um, and hopefully if you're lucky enough and you've got enough plots, uh, you'll start uh, earning the, the cheer coin there. Um, you can only earn the cheer coin if the um, uh, node is synced. So this does take a while. It will go off and think about it for quite a while to go do that. Um, so it can take a couple of hours to get synced as well. Um, but that's how you would uh, sort of use the QM2 card. So if you don't have um, any option in your PC to install really fast storage, so if you've only got... Uh, SATA connected drives, so SATA SSDs, you know, they'll top out at 
um, about 100,000 IOPS maybe, um, about 600 megabytes a second at the absolute max. Um, you're going to get nearly four times faster than those numbers if you're using NVMe drives, especially on the read-write speed up to nearly 4,000 megabytes a second. Um, so if you were to use the QM2 4P384 um, in one of your um, uh, PCI Express slots on your, your machine, it will give you four drive bays for NVMe M.2 drives um, that you can put in there and you can use those as the very fast storage to try and accelerate um, your, your plot speed so that you can create plots a bit quicker. Okay, so that's the, the basics that I wanted to cover, but the, uh, the QNAP QM2 cards, we do two port versions and four port varieties. I would generally not recommend the QM2 4P384 in the HPE micro server um, that I'm using it in. It's a very tight fit to get it in there. It does fit, does work, um, it's just it's a very tight fit, so I either go with a two port version um, with some larger, um, larger storage on them than the 480 gigs I've got so that you can do uh, more on the, uh, the two SSDs. Um, but if you had a, uh, a larger tower PC where you, you had all the room in the world, the, the QM2 4P384 is our fastest, best, largest uh, QM2 card. Um, if anybody has any questions, please do drop them in the uh, comments section below and we'll try to answer them. Um, but yeah, this is uh, how to use the QNAP QM2 card uh, to um, do the uh, Chio crypto, cryptocurrency uh, farming slash mining. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.